Gilbert Arenas. Arenas, Arenas, uh, doesn't matter at this point. Uh, am I disappointed in what he said? First of all, as most of you may know by now, Gilbert Arenas made some disparaging comments uh, against the WNBA, the Women's National Basketball Association today. Uh, he posted them on Instagram. Mm, terrible. Very misogynistic, very sexist remarks made. Calling players out in general uh, for being too, I guess, too masculine, not sexy enough, not feminine enough. He didn't actually use the word uh, lesbian, but he might as well could have. WNBA naturally was not all that. We was very upset over his comments, and so was the NBA. I've seen a lot of these comments made online before concerning women in basketball, in any sport. Uh, you see these comments on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You see the memes. You know, people feel threatened. There are people who are going to feel threatened because they're not all that mature or they're just plain ignorant. And it sucks because Gilbert has two daughters so how is he going to explain that to them someday because they will want to know they'll want to know now I mean if he if, if even at, at their age if they read what their father wrote they'd be embarrassed they're probably embarrassed right now and I know his wife is it's you know it's it I'm not surprised I'm not surprised at what he said because he's done dumb stuff before uh, this this thing will only stop when men feel comfortable being men. As long as they don't feel comfortable being men, they will be they will feel threatened whenever a woman excels at anything that they feel that only men should excel in. And that's the whole truth, Gilbert Arenas. Arenas, Arenas, or whatever his last, however his last name is pronounced. He doesn't feel that there's some lack in him. That there's, there's, his self-esteem has a bad chin. And we should bring what he said to the forefront, but not be upset at it. I, I think that, uh, I don't think that it should get anybody down. Swin Cash and Ivory Lada, who both play for the WNBA, did a good job of putting Gilbert in his place. Like I said, WNBA spokesperson already said what uh, he or she had to say about the situation. Look, yeah, he posted a video Gilbert did of two scantily clad women playing basketball. He claims that if women wore more revealing uniforms and showed more skin, more T, more A, that ticket sales would probably go through the roof. Now, to be honest, if I saw lingerie basketball on TV or anywhere else, I would probably watch for a little bit. But I wouldn't watch for long because I know that it's not about talent. It's not about skill. It's not about the discipline that comes with trying to attain victory for your team. Gilbert's statements were woefully ignorant. And I guess he feels he can make those statements because he's not playing in the NBA anymore. So he feels perhaps that he has nothing to lose. He recently posted another Instagram stating that he did not mention the term lesbians. Well as if that's supposed to save him or excuse him for the previous remarks he made earlier today. Men or males who call themselves men, 
we have a lot to learn about equality, about ourselves, about women. I feel that if we learn enough about ourselves, then understanding women shouldn't be that much of a hassle. These women are professional basketball players. Many of them, the vast majority of them, of the, the stars anyway, play year round. That's how they make their living. They don't have the luxury of taking the off season completely off to stay with their families because they don't get paid much. They just don't get paid much. They make a mere fraction of what a bench warmer in the NBA is making. So to have anyone just piss on the league like that, I mean, if, if Gilbert has any fans, which <laughs> I'd be surprised if he did before he made the, these remarks, he shouldn't have any fans left. The discouraging thing is that there are uh, there were some guys who actually agreed with Gilbert. And that's too bad because it tells me that they can't appreciate the game for what it is. They'll always need something, some kind of glossy production, uh, something more entertaining than the game itself to actually appreciate the game. So now you're talking about a lack of intelligence. I mean, if it's one thing to say, you know, okay, you don't like women's basketball, okay. Turn to something else, fine. But to take time out of your day to make all these just asinine, stupid, stupid remarks about the league it shows me and shows everybody you know, how intelligent you are, which is not much. Peace.